welcome to Kiddo and Janko Wednesdays at Lunch Burger, Burger Edition. Edition. This week, Matthew and I went to Grinder on Notre Dame in Griffintown. Uh, and we went there because we had a special guest. We were wandering through the day together, getting drunk by the canal. And we ended up wandering to a couple different locations and settled on Grinder. Mr. Mark Rebicki. Hey, guys. Sounds a little weird that you said we settled on Grinder after spending an afternoon together two single straight men. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Th- thank you for that clarification. Yeah. But yeah, it does. <laughs> Just going to throw that out there. <laughs> well, we didn't settle on the app Grinder. Well, I know, but. You, know. you haven't specified yet. And this is episode <laughs> so this is 69. A this is episode yeah, 69. Yeah, on top of it. Episode 69. <laughs> just uh, We're know, off to quite Icing start. on the cake. Yeah. So, um, Matthew, had you ever heard of Grinder before? Are you familiar at all with Grinder? What do you think of Grindr? Uh Never heard of the restaurant. No, I, was, I, I probably heard of it and was a little thrown off because I just thought of the app or the, uh, the television series. With uh, the guy from the Wonder oh, Years, yeah, 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 the Grinder with uh, yeah. with Rob Lowe, Rob Lowe, yeah, and, yeah that, uh, Fred that show Savage. was pretty quickly canceled, wasn't it? Probably, that's probably. Why I've never you, heard you, of it. You get Fred <laughs> Had Savage the whole in season, there. yeah, Fred <laughs> one, Savage, one whole season. <laughs> Fred Savage doesn't carry a show, not since the Wonder Years. Yeah, not not much, and he needs to be voiced over by uh, Daniel Stern. <laughs> yeah, if you if you want it to be successful, if you want it to work, yeah. yeah. So never heard the restaurant Grinder. Uh, no, I haven't. Uh, <laughs> No, no. It, I think maybe once I walked by it, but I didn't know it was a restaurant necessarily. Well, because he saw an oyster bar, and he, we established tonight how much Jacko loves his oysters mm. yeah, and tomatoes. Yeah, uh, it's, it's just it, it couldn't, and nothing could be further from the truth. That sounds awful. <laughs> Are there? Is it true? There's places where they'll just toss a big bucket of oysters onto your table. Uh, no, or I don't is that, think or so. no, that's crab legs. Yeah, you were. Yeah, crab legs. I, I feel like you're mixing it up ice with uh, with mm. with the fried chicken place we were talking yeah, about. Ice yeah. House. That's he's yeah. getting confused. No one's just dumping a bucket of oysters, <laughs> shucked oysters. <laughs> they may as well like slob a goo on the table. <laughs> I mean, I just remember Mr. Bean getting real sick off of them. So off of oysters and or clams. I don't know. Some clams. Aquatic. Just stay away from it. Some stay away from shellfish. the ocean. Mark, what's what's your experience with Grinder? Um. I've been there twice, okay. or th- maybe three times, mm-hmm. cocktails, never really, once dinner, tried the salmon, it was good. Good salmon? The other two times was like Sanka set things, and uh, maybe a couple oysters, because someone said you have to have an oyster, and I was like, okay. But uh, it's a good spot, you know, music's a little loud for a dinner place, but besides that, I mean, food's good, good ambiance. I suppose that makes it a supper club, Yeah, right? I don't know what makes a supper club a supper club. I don't know if 7 club. p.m. considers a supper club, though. I think uh, that's like at 10 p.m. or 11, they strike the tables. and Is that what it dancing. is? You start dancing at yeah, a supper usually club? Usually, a supper club is a club dinner music. place that turns into a club after hours. Is that what hours. it is? Yeah. I feel like that's not my scene, man, so I don't know. It's not really my thing either, but that's what I've, from my understanding, what supper club was. It's like you have supper when everyone's done and they had a bunch of wine. That's when they start. Well, sh- but what if what if and, what if you want to dance and I want dessert? Well, then you can do both at the same time, I guess. Like we saw one a, lady dancing by herself. That, that lady in the white dress. Yeah, the so only maybe person standing there maybe dancing. it was a club for her yeah. and supper for everyone else. Okay, well, okay. So I guess that justifies as a supper club. <laughs> Okay. So, <laughs> anyways, the burger was good. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, grinder on Notre Dame uh, uh, near Guy. Uh, not too far, I guess the closest metro would be George Vanier Metro. Uh, steps away from the Atwater Canal. Very convenient. Uh, no, sorry, not the Atwater. The Lachine no, Canal. Lachine Canal. Yeah. yeah. That grinder would be close to a guy. Guy uh, Concordia? Guy, guy Concordia. Guy, guy Street? Guy. Yeah. Well, you gotta keep let's doing see it. what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta keep yeah. doing it. Going it's going make it 69. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta make it sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, ladies. Or simply juvenile. Because I feel like <laughs> or, or 69 is like the most juvenile of numbers. I feel like Marvin Gaye is pretty, uh, could, I don't know, sing Have a, a song, song about, about 69 yeah. We could all speak like Marvin Gaye if we wanted to be really sexy. All right, so so Matthew, you'll be Marvin Gaye. Uh, Mark, you <laughs> can be Someone Luther. give him a pack of cigarettes, four bottles of whiskey, and tell him to come back in an hour. Then well, no, he's not Barry Marvin White. He's oh, Marvin well, Gaye. whatever. They sound the same. Don't you they? could be Luther Vandross, and I'll okay, be Barry cool. White. <laughs> and then we're all set up. Um um, but yeah, so Mark, today we basically spent the day drinking in the sun. Yeah. We uh, we met up in the early afternoon. We went and got a little sandwich. Yeah, at we the had a bun meat sandwich at the yeah. it, was, it was okay. Went and sat on a park bench so and just chit-chat and drink beer for hours. Yeah. 
Matthew happened to stroll by. You were having a nice day with the lady out yeah, in the sun. Small, small world. Yeah, yeah, but he also walked past us originally. They heard the music, and they're like, "Whatever." And they come back. You guys were the ones listening to the music. Yeah. Have you well, been we... sitting here for hours? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Look, yeah. Well, we were talking. Yeah, about... he has the worst sunburn out of all of us. Yeah. I was out before you guys. I was. Uh... I was out there for hours, just baking in the sun. <laughs> I mean, baking you, in the sun. Uh, no pun intended. Boo. That was a bad one, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was awful. Yeah, I let myself. Like out. Matthew, you're you're pretty red now. I want, I'm just yeah, gonna touch your, I'm gonna reach out and touch your forehead and see if a fingerprint is. Oh, it didn't last that long. Yeah, it's not that bad. I don't know. He's got I feel a like your forearms team. look maybe a little worse, but not that bad. It'll be worse tomorrow. You're gonna guarantee. recover from this. I've got all kinds of aloe vera and special Japanese moisturizers if you if you need them. <laughs> don't need that stuff. A Korean friend of mine. Yeah, I was going to say Japan. you got it. No, Korean friend of the Japan. I say Korean a Korean skincare friend of mine thing. was visiting Japan, Japan and is. brought me back a moisturizer as a gift. It is a probably from Korea. I'm not sure no, about no, no. Japan. Is he was in Japan the... just because he's Korean doesn't mean he can visit. It doesn't Japan. matter. But Korean skincare is a thing. I don't think is Japanese it? skincare is a thing. Don't don't the Japanese just have all kinds of crazy well, products? They, they, they probably yeah, all kinds of crazy products doesn't mean they're good at every product. You know. So have you guys really used? Google Translate. Matthew, you don't have a smartphone. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. That, I but don't I'll think say this, this thing does. Mean... Yeah, yeah. Matthew's got a slide phone. Oh, he's I, got the Matt Stapor. I haven't seen this since Matt Stapor. I ordered a new phone on eBay just oh. last week. So and this is what they how sent new? you. Then. How new? No, this is the old phone. A refurbished uh, Motorola Razor. Ooh. Wow. The new Razor or the old Razor? Oh, the first edition. The classic yeah, Razor. Wow. Because the, the Razor's pink? coming back. The purple? No, yeah, silver. We'll silver. Silver. Because silver. I, I don't like this. This can go... The one I have right now is not a flip phone. And no, that means you can like pocket dial people. Pocket oh, text, do all that. Of course. Not with a so flip you've phone. been doing too much of that. Too much. <laughs> and also with the plus, the one thing I miss of a flip phone, if you're really angry and you want to hang up on someone, there's no better feeling than slamming Slam that phone, flip phone, phone back. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there is yeah. one better feeling. Uh, a Throwing big, your phone he- on the ground? A big, heavy phone. <laughs> Where you slam it down and you hear the ding ring around for a little bit. Or you can like throw a classic it at someone, I guess. home phone. That one too, but I mean, throwing your cell phone into uh, the ocean. A river or whatever. Or smashing it against the, the ground. Now, that really That's gets be the a message across, one. I think. Sliding shut a slide phone is really not as satisfying, no. I assume. No. Got to yell some profanities, I guess, and then just shut it off. Meekly. Yeah. Uh, so what about the so, Google Translate? So Google Translate, I was very impressed with last week because I got this Japanese product. And I held up my phone and I said, what does it say? And it didn't, didn't hear me. It's a phone. It doesn't know how to do things like that. Um, and so I downloaded Japanese. took two seconds. And then I held my phone up to it. And on the screen, the Japanese words just turned into English words. Yeah. I've before my very eyes. Uh, and it was exciting. Basically, it said, uh, put it on your face. Wash it off. Moisture. And I was like, all right, I'll try that. You can figure that out with... You know, I okay. figured, I figured maybe it would say something it's like, leave wash. it, let it sit there for five minutes or something like that. No, no. It was just like, rub it in, wash it out for men and women. <laughs> so, well, good to know it's for men and so, women. So I tried that and honestly, immediately, immediately after I got out of the shower and it felt like I had a new face. It was like face off. I don't know, your face doesn't look any different. No, I know, but it feels real good. It, real yeah, no, it, it, it's glowing a little bit. Thank you. Know? you. Yeah, oh, but it might be yeah. the sun today. I'm not Could sure. Could be the Japanese, yeah. the Japanese special sun. chemicals. <laughs> I did think your skin looked a little Japanesey. Mm. What does that mean? Mm. Clean, you know. <laughs> I mean, I'm turning Japanese. I think I'm turning yeah. Japanese. I really think so. Yeah, I don't think it's a. F- I'm not sure Japanese people grow off. as much facial hair as you have. That's probably true. It wouldn't. It wouldn't. It would be a lot. Yeah, there's no way they have a mustache like that. I don't think they can get one that good. <laughs> um, so, so uh, we were sitting uh, by the canal, the Atwater Canal. Beautiful sunny day, soaking up the rays, uh, playing music on Mark's uh, Bluetooth speaker. That we call the Jamma Jam. The Jamma Jam? It's the Jamma Jam. Can you listen to the Jamma Jam in your pajamas? You can use Jamma Jam in almost every single circumstance. <laughs> okay. It okay. works for every occasion. It's fantastic. Can uh, pump up the jam? You know, yeah, played? you can pump up oh. the jam. It, it's pump up the jam in it's, your pajamas on the Jamma Jam. It's got all the options on it, too. You know, um, I actually, at one point, suggested they play Pump Up the Jam today. And he just stuck with his own playlist. Yeah. No, that's when I attempted to throw you in the canal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> You know, now, but then Django showed up to save the day. Of course. Now, Mark, I like that you were playing music for our satisfaction throughout the course of the day. Sure. But at the same time, something about it felt a little arrogant. 
<laughs> that you're going to walk into a store and you've just got music playing out your bag like everyone wants to hear your goddamn music. What do you think the, that poor Asian man in the store thought when you walked in and they well, had music let's put and we were just looking at everything in the store? I don't know what's worse. is the fact that I walked in the store listening to Weezer's song when he walked in the store, which mm-hmm. was great. You know, we're listening, you know, some good Weezer no, walking in. And I'm like, okay, I'm that arrogant guy with a speaker blaring out of my backpack, yet you reach into the fridge and grab a Four loco <laughs> and go to the cash with it. So I'm not really sure <laughs> Who's what's worse. worse really? you Who's know? worse? I'm like, let's have a nice cider here and go outside. You're like, I'm going Four loco. I want like six coffees, 14 beers, and four shovels of sugar in my drink. <laughs> and uh, let's see what happens, you know? And, and now, you know, okay, so a couple months ago, uh, some tourists uh, – talk to me about how in Quebec we have Four loco. I don't recall where they were from. I suppose Ontario or something. I, you were no, telling me Ontario has outlawed They were banned loco. in Canada. They were banned in Canada. They were banned in Canada. Quebec. And I think now, well, we've had them in Quebec for a while now. I never knew. Yeah, but it's... Because the they're Four the loco States. to me, looks like a monster energy drink or something. So well, I kind that's, of always that's why it. it was banned. Because it was just like people would buy this like as a energy drink beer, I guess. But an it's energy drink that's got like 12% alcohol. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and like I said, it's six, the equivalent of 16 coffee. If you look this up on the, on the internet, it's it's you're not supposed to be drinking that. It's basically battery acid in a can. So we had a few beers, soaked up the sun, and yeah. then uh, I had a little ice cream, and we were thinking about going somewhere else, maybe grabbing a bite to eat or something, getting a couple more drinks, and enjoying well, that last Well, no, no. First, we were supposed to grab your bike out, but this guy's pickup truck was blocking was your driveway. pickup truck blocking yeah. my, my space, and my bike is three wheels. It's too yeah. wide. You can't just slip by a pickup truck. Normally, you could just pick those things up or yeah, but because nooks and crannies. Yeah, but most people <laughs> don't drive three-wheel bikes because Seba, no. as we'd like, we, you know, on si- episode 69, you'll all learn that Seba still has training wheels on his bike. No. He can't ride a two-wheel big, bike. They're three full-size wheels. He drives a bike my grandmother <laughs> drove in Florida when I was a child. Yeah, he's not training. Sounds great. He's yeah. not it's a great bike. Don't get we me could wrong. Lug all kinds you know, of things. It's a great around. bike, but you can't get it out of an alley when there's a pickup truck. That's true. That's true. You gotta really lift it and be careful about that truck, well, right? I, mean, I don't want the wheels rolling across his hood. Well, we I don't think you can pick it up over your head. In I the can. Place. I've thrown it over really? a fence before. It looks pretty. It's pretty. <laughs> it is heavy. Bike. It wasn't easy to throw it over the fence. We need to be clear that Sebastian is not training for anything. I mean, this is <laughs> the training wheels imply that you are <laughs> trying to move up to a two wheel bike. You're you're pretty content with this. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm satisfied with my three wheel bike. Um, you know, some people make fun of me. Children have um, <laughs> made fun of me while I'm biking around on my three wheel uh, bike trike. Uh, let's not split a hairs. Trike? Is that a thing? Well, it's it sounds like a, a fish. It's a tricycle in a way. It's got more than yeah, I guess that kind of makes sense. Two wheels. Yeah. Um, but it also has a huge basket, and that <laughs> basket. <laughs> Well, don't underestimate the size of that basket. Matthew, you have traveled in that basket. Yeah. I've traveled in the basket. I just like that your, your selling point is like, check out this basket. Yeah. Now, I heard this get, story for get the a first load of this. tonight. The one time with my uh, backpack on and the basket filled with cans of beers, I had something like 72 beers on me. <laughs> we clearly went to Costco. 72 beers. This is the follow-up. On St. Jean weekend, Mark, I went over to your place. It wouldn't have been great if I had a three-wheel bike with a basket and a backpack filled with 72 beers. So wait, you had the basket and the backpack filled with beers? Well, not this time because my, my bike still needs repairs and it's trapped So by then truck. you just had a backpack is what you're saying. Oh, I mean, on St. Jean weekend, I only had one case and I left and got another case. But we – oh, that, that's – you're talking about this St. Jean. I thought you were telling a story last no, week. No, no, no. It Janko and your bike. No, no. Okay. Well, I did and I pivoted. Huh. But yeah. there has been a time when I've gone over to your place specifically to play Murder Ball. Yeah. Uh, which uh, the details of the game was were outlined in episode 68. Um, <laughs> Murder Ball is a great game. It's the best game. Yeah. Um, but imagine a day where I can show up with 70 some odd beers and we could play for hours. Well, should I let people know how your Saturday went on Saturday with Murder Ball? I guess I guess fill fill people in. Well, you know Saint Jean weekend. So I mean was Saint a bit Jean a... weekend. If you're doing Saint Jean, you got to do Saint Jean properly, yeah. right? So um, this was your idea in the first place. It's you were true. Asking I... Me. I got a message from you at like almost three in the morning on a Tuesday. Oh <laughs> I wake up the next morning and I read big Murder Ball tournament at your place Saturday. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like start planning. So I actually had to. You know, mull things over. I'm like, oh, neighbors love me already as it is. But you know what? We haven't done anything in a 